Ultimate Homebrew coming at ya. Hey, this is the last of our little winter weather here in Portland. This is all going to start melting off. We're getting freezing rain already. It's going to, it'll all freeze over tonight and it's going to be a mess tomorrow. So I'm going to stay home and brew in the garage. But right now, I need a stout. <laughs> and it's been unusual. So I need an unusual stout. And I've got one. It came to me from the Canadian Sasquatch Brewery. Thank you for that, sir, for sending that my way. And the brewery is Clown Shoes and the beer is the Bombay Berserker. That's right. It's an Indian style chocolate stout, the Bombay Berserker. All right, I'm going to read the bottle to you. It says, this exotic stout is a relative of chocolate sombrero. Very good beer indeed. With the Mexican spices replaced by the flavors of chai tea, ginger, cardamom, cinnamon, and vanilla. Dear head-banging craft beer drinker, please remember our love for you is like a truck. Berserker! <laughs> All right, this should be a fun one. So I'm going to get this thing cracked open and be right back. I tried to warm this before it came out, but there's not much hope out here. But boy, I can smell the spices and chocolate coming off this right as I popped the cap. Oh my lord. Okay, so this is mm, extremely dark brown to black with kind of a thin head on it, but it is a nice tan head. And the spices coming off that are crazy. I got the ginger right away. I got the cardamom and the cinnamon right away. And I got some chocolate immediately. Yeah, you do kind of get that chai tea kind of aroma coming off of it. And you got the vanilla. Some nice sweetness on it. The aromas are just bursting off of this. Just popping right out you. I mean, you do get the ginger. I think the cardamom and the, the cinnamon uh, are stronger. Um, but you do get some nice roast. You get some nice dark chocolate on it. Uh, some, some nice uh, vanilla on there. Uh, lightly nutty, I would say. You can, it's got kind of a creamy-esque type smell. Anyway, whatever. We're going to jump in. Cheers. Oh, that's a nice blend. You know, I'm going to go in the house in a bit here because it's getting cold and, and try it as it warms. But right now, that is just wonderful. On the front side... The chocolate hits you and it's coming on along with, you know, all those spices that really is very much like a chai tea type flavor, very much on it. Um, it's kind of a medium body, medium on the full side of medium, I'd say. It's a, it's a very smooth drinker, lightly creamy, probably get more so as it warms, but a bit of like a cocoa type flavor on it, I'd say. Mmm, that's nice. Some... A little bit of burnt taste on it, just very lightly. I almost feel like I get a little bit of fruits on there, like a little bit of cherry. And it's actually more carbonated than I might have thought, so it's a moderate carbonation on it. This is a really fun beer indeed. I'm going to be making this one a short review though, because I do want to get back in. It is pretty frigid out here. Um, all right, for style, Imperial Stout. Well, you get some points for creativity, because this is quite fun. Um, but still, I'm going to think this is in the B range. So I'd say I'm going to give this one about, oh, I, like, I do like these spices. I'm going to give this an 88 for an Imperial Stout. It's, it's just a fun blend. I like spices. So this is a great beer as far as I'm concerned, a B plus. Overall, I'm going to go down two notch, just an 85, a straight B. A real fun beer, though. This is a fun beer. Definitely one worth trying. Here it is. This is the... Bombay Berserker. I'm going to dedicate this review to Zippy Viking, who is of the Berserker Brewery. That's right. <laughs> One of my buddies in the UK. Hopefully I'll be meeting him in May. And this is Kevin Clements Homebrew saying, life is too short to drink cheap beer, and I will see you in the next beer review. Cheers.